Good morning. Hello, all the dear ones out there. Aha, just a second. Teacher, our children are ready. Come on. Hi. Good morning. How are you all? Warm welcome to a new academic year. Hope you all are safe. Have you ever imagined such a reopening day? You at your home and we the teachers in this frame? So, for the time being, we are going to have classes in this manner. For a while, this is going to be the new normal schooling. So, we are here to take today's English class and we'll be with you for the next 30 minutes. So, get ready, take your pen, notebooks and textbook if you have one because there will be worksheets we will be showing on the screen and you have to complete the worksheets and submit it to your English teacher. So in this 30 minutes we will listen, we will speak, we will read, we will write and of course we will have fun. Now shall we have a quick look at our textbook? In the screen, you can see the cover page of our plus two English textbook. This year, we have five interesting units. Each unit is based on a particular theme. We have beautiful stories, yes. poems, write-ups, articles, etc. to read and enjoy. The first unit is titled Flights of Freedom. Here we have a speech a poem, a short story and an anecdote. Yes. So, for a good start, shall we do a, a warm-up activity? Okay? Ready? Yes. For that, children, please stand up. Yes. Thank you. And now, stand straight. Stretch your arms like this. Yes. Very good. Now, Wiggle your fingers. Yes, right. That's it. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle, wiggle. Now, pull your arms back. Right. And now, take a deep breath. Like this. Yes. And then, release the air like, ha. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. You're feeling so refreshed and energized, aren't we, teacher? Yes. Of course, we think that you are also refreshed and energized. Okay? Yes. Before getting into the text, let's have some kind of entertainment. It's not merely entertainment. You have something to learn from it too. Don't you love musical videos? How about you, teacher? Of course, I love music. <laughs> We know that you all are fans of music. Come on, let's quickly watch the video and come back. You will love it. Don't go away. सवेरा यहाँ तू है सब वहाँ है जहाँ तू है कदमों में तेरे जन्नते बिछी है जलवों में तेरे शोहरते छुपी है yes. You have watched the video, right? Did you like it? Beautiful, isn't it? That was a good piece of music. Enjoyed? Of course, we enjoyed. Now, tell me, let's see how good observers you are. Can you identify the singer of this musical video? Is it Udit Narayan? Is it Udit Narayan? What do you think, dears? No, right? Yes, no, no, it's not. It's not. Then, is it uh, Sonu Nigam? 
No. No. <laughs> Teacher says it's no. And we are sure that your Somebody. answer is also no. It's not. Then, who is he? Who is the singer? You can see a glimpse of the singer in the video. Yes. Yes, somebody out there said the right answer. Uh -huh. It is Shankar Mahadevan, the versatile singer. You know, he has sung in Malayalam, Hindi, Tamil, etc. Now, take your notebook and write down. I have a question for you. Write the answer, okay? And these answers you have to submit to your English teacher. Can you identify what the video is about? I mean, the theme of the video. Can you write it down? Yes? We'll give you time. Okay. Yes. What is the theme of the video? Of course, it is about women. The video, we could see that it was a celebration of womanhood. Right? Yes. Now, the second question, teacher. Yeah. What kind of women have you seen in the video? Are they working women or are they housewives or homemakers? Can you tell us what kind of women? Please write it down in your notebook. Have you? Yes. You have the answer, right? Yes. You have seen them doing many, many kinds of job, right? Yes. Very good. What kind of jobs were they doing? They were doing many kinds of jobs, right? Mm -hmm. They were in many kinds of uh, mm -hmm. profession. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what the different jobs were? You can write it down that too. What were the different jobs? Right. So, we'll here draw a word web. Okay. And inside the word web, we'll write the word women. Okay. You can also draw women. Yes. Now, we'll draw some branches to this circle. Okay, now let's write the jobs that you have identified in these branches. Okay, yes, there were sweepers, right? Yes. There were potters too, right? Then there were chefs, right? Uh -huh. Women baking cakes. Haven't you seen? Right. Business women, lots of successful women in that area too. Yes, of course. And then, haven't you seen police cadets mm -hmm. or police women? Mm -hmm. Of course, we'll write that also. Women working in hotels as receptionists, front office. Right. And then, haven't you seen a woman milking a cow? Right? Okay, so you have seen a milk woman, right? Yes. So we'll write that. I have seen a mother with her daughter. Yes. Haven't you seen a mother feeding her daughter? Shall we write that also? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Great. You are all good observers. You could find out all the professions wonderfully well. So, women are not those who are destined to be inside the four walls of their house and to do household works alone. They can do all sorts of job. They can be earning members of the family, the real breadwinners. They can also support the family like that, right? Yes, of course. Now, it's time for a puzzle. How about that? Mm -hmm. We know that you all like puzzles very much. Mm -hmm. Okay? So now, what you have to do is, you have to solve this puzzle. Okay? For that, you have to listen to a story carefully. Hear the story? Yes. A young boy is involved in a traffic accident and is immediately rushed to the hospital for urgent surgery. In the bustling chaos of the hospital environment, 
the surgeon strides into the operating room. Now, think of the surgeon, okay. brimming with confidence and authority, a true A-type personality. Very attractive, very much determined, one who knows instinctively how to take charge. Oh. So, the distinguished surgeon looks down at the boy and said, I can't operate on this boy. It's my son. Okay. Indeed, the boy is the surgeon's son. Yet, the surgeon is not the boy's father. Who then? What is their relation? Can you tell me? Can you teach her? Guess? Is, uh, is it his um, um, uncle? No. Oh, it's not uncle. Can he be his stepfather? Is it stepfather? Children? Yeah? No. No. Okay, grandfather. Oh, no. No. No, it's not. Yes, the answer is simple. We know you have the answer. The surgeon is she. She is a boy's mother. <laughs> but the thing is that most of us won't think it is his mother, right? Usually, we do relate all these words in the story about the surgeon like bold, confident, successful, etc. etc. only to a male image, right? Why so? Because we do not think a woman image in a powerful position. Our mind doesn't allow us to think like that. Our mind is set. When we think of a woman image, we tend to add words like meek, shy, weak to that. Is yes. this right? Yes. Do you agree with this? Of course. There are many women who have made their marks in their respective career. Yes. You can see them on the screen. You can add more names whom you know. Okay, so women can also be in such higher positions. You have seen the images of great women who were successful in their own fields. Yes, so women can also lead a team, an organization or an institution. Of course. Or the state. So today we are going to discuss a speech, a motivating speech by a powerful lady, that is Christine Lagarde. Shall we take a quick look at her profile? Yes. The profile of Christine Lagarde. On the screen, you can see the profile of Christine Lagarde. She is the first woman to become the finance minister of a G8 economy and the only woman as of 2020. G8 means a group of eight nations that constitute the G8 economy. Okay? Yes. She is a French politician and lawyer serving as a president of European Central Bank since 2019. She is a noted antitrust and labor lawyer. She is enormously impressive politically astute and a strong personality. Yes, she has also served as the managing director of the International Monetary Fund. She has held many ministerial posts like Minister of Agriculture and Fishing, Minister of Economy, Finance and Industry. Christian Lagarde has delivered a speech at the National Democratic Institute, Washington DC, on 19th May 2014. Let's go through the script of the speech. Script is shown on the screen. Yes, we'll read the script of the speech together. Okay? Yes. The script is here. The Three L's of Empowerment by Christine Lagarde Good afternoon. It is great to be among friends and kindred spirits. The 21st century 
poses many challenges that require new ways of thinking. None more important than the economic role of women in a rapidly changing world. But women today remain blocked from contributing their true potential. This has a huge cost. In some countries, per capita income lag significantly because women are denied equal opportunity. They represent half the world's population, but contribute far less than 50% of economic activity. What is needed to change this picture is a concerted effort to open the door to opportunity with what I call the three L's of women's empowerment, learning, labor, and leadership. How did Christine Lagarde greet the gathering or the audience? Can you tell? Yes, right. Very good. Good afternoon. It is great to be among friends and kindred spirits. That's how she began the speech, right? Yes. Now, let's watch the beginning of a couple of great speeches. Please take your notebook and note down how they address the gathering. Will you? Yes. Listen carefully to the video and come back. Don't forget to note how they began the speech. Your Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, Distinguished members of the Norwegian Nobel Committee, dear sisters and brothers, today is a day of great happiness for me. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is such an honor for me to be here tonight in this iconic UN building celebrating UNICEF's 70th anniversary. So, you have watched the video and listened to it carefully. Hope you have identified the two great women. Yes. Haven't you noticed how they address the gathering? Of course, there are many ways to greet the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. if it is an informal speech, dear friends, brothers and sisters, etc. Okay, now you have an assignment. Listen to the speeches of great people and write down how they have addressed the audience. So you can search the, um, I mean, Google or Wikipedia. It's available in the internet. Okay, go online and find it out. Okay, and remember to submit it to your teacher and get the feedback. Okay, so now back to Christine Lagarde's speech. Children, you might have noticed, she begins the speech with a statement. What is that statement? She says, 21st century poses many challenges. Okay? Now tell me, what is the challenge that she highlights here? Can you write it down? It's there in the textbook. It's there in the first paragraph. What are the challenges? Is it global warming? Is it global warming, children? Any such kind is mentioned there? No. No. Is it a population explosion? Is it, is it, teacher? No. No. It's not. Then what? Yes, you are right. It is about lack of women participation in the growth of economy. She has stated that very clearly in the first paragraph. Check your answers whether it is right or wrong. It's all right. You can take it down. Write it down in your notebook. Yes. Very good. Okay. Now, why do you think women's participation is less in our economy. Here, we have read that Christine Lagarde says, 
women represent 50 percent mm -hmm. of the population then why the participation of women is less in our economy why does she say so can you say yes right because they remain blocked from contributing their true potential of course women have got many potential or they have got abilities but they are blocked there are many barriers because of that they cannot contribute what do you think are the different blocks yes teacher was saying about the different blocks that stop women from taking their true potential out what are the different blocks can you list down lack of education lack of opportunity yes gender discrimination of course all these are various kinds of blocks these are only a few you can add more there are many blocks that women face you can add more and more points and you can have a discussion with your teacher later okay so christine lagarde here suggests some ways to break these blocks she has got a solution also uh -huh. okay let's see what it is can you tell us what it is you can go through the first paragraph and find out what is the solution to all these blocks yes they are the three L's yes it's on the screen mm -hmm. what are the three L's right learning labor and leadership these are the three L's that Christine Lagarde suggests to empower women right do you think these three L's can help women overcome their blocks what do you think what is your opinion you can write your comments in a paragraph and submit it to your teacher you can use these expressions which you can see on the screen while you write a paragraph when you express your opinion you can use such expressions like i think yes i believe in my opinion as far as i am concerned so don't forget to use these expressions while you write your assignment do write the assignment and submit it to your English teacher. Don't forget, okay? Yes. So, this is for today's English class. We'll meet soon, okay? So, be safe until we meet again. One more thing. Oh. If at all you're going out, don't forget to wear your mask. Use sanitizers also. Be safe. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Thank you.